Should have ordered a brighter moon. Oh, stop. When did you become such a prude? Well, it is not prudish to not want the lights on when one is swimming <laughs> on natural. I was robbed of a spectacular view. Every time, every time I came close, you slithered out of my grasp. Not every time. You're driving me mad. You even make terry cloth a rug. I don't want this to end. I want to hold on to this feeling. This night, you know, I want to keep this with me so that even when... normal day with all its little problems creeps back in. Every night will be just like this, I promise. I want to give you a lifetime of magic. I love you. and it got so loud that I couldn't ignore it. I had my phone in love with you again, and I don't... I don't know. I love you, too. started out as this little quick voice that just got louder and louder and, and it got so loud that I couldn't ignore it anymore, Adam. I've fallen in love with you again and I'd... and I don't... first time that you ever told me you loved me, I felt like I was just born. And now here I am, born all over again. Oh. As soon as those words were out of my mouth, I wanted to take them back. No. Yeah. Too late. I swallowed them whole. This is the last thing that I expected. <laughs> it's the last thing that I wanted. Abracadabra. We're in love again. More than ever. Oh, madder than ever, and God forgive me, because I know not what I do. <laughs> but baby, let down your guard and try not to be sad. And now what? Close your eyes and listen to the music of the night. It's just too perfect. And it's too impossible. I'm like, I'm here in your arms again. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm saying I love you like some schoolgirl who doesn't <laughs> know I'm better. I don't know what's wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you as nearly as I can tell. What if my heart is playing tricks on me? I know what you would say. I'd say, let it happen. <laughs> you would say that I am some desperate old maid trying some last-ditch effort no. to hang on to love, yes. No, wrong. I would say that we've been given a fantastic gift. And who cares why? Let's just open it. Don't try to think of reasons to run away. Don't... Don't try to shut this down before it's even started. Feel my heart. You know what it's saying? It's saying I love you. 
shouting, I love you, beyond all reason, beyond all doubt. <laughs> that's, that's the beautiful part of love. That's the, the wonderful part of magic. We don't know how it works. But we just know that we've got to believe in it. Say that. Say you believe in it. Say it. I believe it. I believe it. So good. Don't be afraid. No, listen, I can't. I can't do it. Yes, you're doing, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. I have to get back to the shelter now. I Grace oh. is covering oh. you at the shelter. Grace? Oh. 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 So, so, so tell me again what I'm doing here. Okay? Oh. Fate. Fate has negotiated a cosmic U-turn. <laughs> You've changed this room since I was in residence, haven't you? Huh? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. You have restored its original beauty and grace. Well, I'm not sure I like it. I think maybe I should change the drapes. What do you say? Rook, Rook, do you, do you want me to bring out the swatches? Or do you want to make soul-shattering love? Proof that <laughs> abstinence makes the heart grow lustier. <laughs> oh, I like that. You get me into bed by saying that you love me, and then you just chalk that up to mere lust. That's <laughs> mere lust. Isn't that a contradiction of terms? I want to make love to you all night. That is, if you can stand the room's decor. Just keep my eyes closed. I'll have the whole place be done if you want. Mm -hmm. I like everything exactly the way it is for now. But that doesn't mean... No, 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 no morning after quarterbacking. Let, let's just start with no regrets and, uh, go right on. <laughs> and where do we go from there? Yeah, let's see. We've done the candlelight dinner and the moonlight swim. And then I spent the rest of the night making love to the most beautiful woman in the world. I guess the next logical step is to make an honest woman out of you. Marry me, Brock. Be my wife. Don't do this to me. I adore you. I want to adore you on a full-time basis. Adam, I'm not ready for this. Oh, of course you are. You're way, you're way overdue. We both are. Don't get me wrong, okay? Last night was, it was, it was perfect. Every night can be just like that. Just slow down, Why should okay? I slow down? Because we both waited for so long. Because I like things the way they are, right now, right now, today. I don't, I don't want to hurdle it's, on ahead. It's so right, it's so right, you know it's right. It's right for today, Adam. I don't know about tomorrow. Oh, sure I do. certainly don't know about the rest of my life. We were meant to be. I know, you just you keep saying that. I know, we... Are connected for life. It's not a reason to get married. <laughs> what well, name a better one? I don't know. Solid, unshakable trust. Ah, uh, oh, that one. Um, well, you have mine. That. Go ahead, anyway. Brooke. 
You tell me what I have to do to win your trust. I will do anything. I remember. Surely you've done something in your life that you were ashamed of, something that, that, that when you remembered it makes you cringe, you know that feeling? Well, I've made some horrible mistakes, horrible. And I can't even promise I won't make more, but I will not repeat the old ones because it cost me too dearly. I lost the one person I love more than anyone else in this world. My perfect partner for life. I Look, I couldn't stand losing you again. We, we were meant to be together. We're complete together. Don't condemn me to, to half a life. Marry me. Please, Mary. And we gotta do. Oh, wow, wow. What do we have here? You're a maddening, miserable, frustrated shrew. Go, go on. Find some other poor man. Torment him. Stop haranguing me. I've seen this reel before. Don't let her drive you. Apologize to her. No, it's not necessary. Brooke, none of this is against you. I'm talking out of my head. It's just I'm upset about Alec. And uh, if I said something that offended you, I'm sincerely sorry. No, no offense taken. You just reminded me of some things, actually, that I'd nearly forgotten. Don't leave. I have to get dressed. No. All right, all right, all right. Obviously, I don't have a choice. Don't, don't go, please. Don't leave like this. I have to go. Fourteen hours of splendor halted by the ravings of Arlene? I'm so sorry. I'm glad that she came by. Because it gives you an excuse to leave? Because I saw some things in you that I haven't seen in a, in a long time. Look, look, no, don't do this. I, I got, I, I lost my temper with a woman who brings out the worst in everyone. You've seen the way she, Haley reacts to her. Don't, don't write me off because of Arlene. I won't. I can't forget how... You know, how you talk to her. Your voice, the, the, the look on your face. I'm not going to shove those things into the back of my mind any more than I'm going to forget what you did when we were married. Just don't forget what happened last night. I want to make us both happy for the rest of our lives. Just say yes, that you'll, that you'll marry me. I can't give you an answer now, okay? Yeah, fair I enough. need time, and I need real time. I don't need somebody badgering me or coming okay, after I'll, me. I'll disappear. How's that? I don't think that's in you. <laughs> True. But fate has intervened. I have a crisis in Milan. I have to go. I don't have any choice. So, I'll spend a lot of time in cathedrals while I'm there. Praying for a yes when I get back. Goodbye. I love you. I love you too.